Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms to create help resources for your staff and students. Let's go ahead and get started. I just demoed this in a webinar, and so I thought some other people might like to see it as well. You can see here I have this Finding Tech Help Google Form set up, and I'll show you what it looks like. People can go to the form, choose the kind of help they need. Let's say they need help with Google Classroom, hit the next button, and it takes them right into a series of videos to help them with Google Classroom. And at the bottom, they can say, do they need help with something else? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Hit next, and now they're back into the first page, right? And at the end, we also have this, well, I need something else. It's not listed up here. So go to something else, hit the next button, and they'll be able to sign up for an appointment with me to schedule a meeting. We'll see right there, there's my calendar appointment, and they can sign up to meet with me for some tech help. So how did I create that? Well, let me show you. So I'm gonna create a new Google form here. And in this form, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how I put that together and how you can put one together yourself. Well, I just want a little tech help for my friends. And we'll make our first question. What do you need help with? And I'll put in, in this case, Google Classroom, Google Forms, making videos, or something else. Now let's add in a new section. And in this section, I'll call it Google Classroom help videos. And I'll now put in a video that I have on how to use Google Classroom. So let's maybe say, you know, how to use rubrics in Google Classroom. Let's copy that link address. We'll put it in here as a video. So we're gonna say add video, put in the URL, hit select, and we'll say how to use rubrics in Google Classroom. Now let's add one more video into this section. We're gonna add one more video. And again, same process. I'm gonna pick the video I wanna use, copy that link address, paste it in, and now we'll write in how to make quizzes in Google Classroom. Now let's add my next section. So I'm gonna add my Google Forms section. Call it Google Forms help videos. And again, we'll go and do a little search here. And we'll copy that in. So I'll add in my video. Let's say getting started with quizzes in forms. And let's find one other one here. Let's use that one. So I'll add one more video. Hit select and we'll call this one five cool forms tips. So let's add my next section. And again, same kind of process. This time we're gonna call it making videos. So this section will be called making videos. And we'll find some tutorials here. Maybe I'll call, it, call up a Flipgrid video. Let's copy that link address. And we'll put in that video. Make a screencast. 
And let's add one more video in here. And we'll say, put in that link. Make a whiteboard video. Now my last section is going to be called something else. And in my description, I'm just going to write, I'm sorry, don't have any other tutorials handy at the moment. I'll be updating this throughout the week. In the meantime, feel free to email or book an appointment with me for one-on-one -on -one help. And here I'm gonna put in the link to my Google Calendar appointment page. Okay. Now, if you're not sure how to make Google Calendar appointment pages, I have a video that I'll link up in the description that you can check out. I'll show you how to do that. There's the link for my calendar appointment page. So I've put those in there. Now I need to set up the process of going through this form so that people get to the right section for the help that they need. To get back, we'll go back to the first question up here. And next to the required button, let's choose go to section based on answer. And here we'll say, well, we're gonna to go to the Google Classroom section, the Google Forms section, the Making Videos section, and the Something Else section. Now, on each one of these subsequent sections, at the end, I need to provide an option to either go back to the beginning or to exit out of the form. Otherwise, people have to go through each section in order to get to where they want to go. So let's go down here. And at the end of section two, I'm going to add a question. Uh, do you need something else? And we'll put in yes or no. And I'm not going to make that required. But I am going to say go to section based on answer again. And we'll say yes. So you'll go back to the beginning or no. So we'll submit the form. And likewise, we'll do that at the end of this section. We'll add a question. Do you need something else? Say yes or no. Not going to make it required. Go to section based on answer. Go back to the beginning or submit the form. And we'll do the same thing down here at the end. And by this point, you probably get the, get the idea of this process. And yes, I could copy these questions, but I'm doing it the old school way right now. We'll go to section based on answer. And again, boom, or boom. Now, at the end of section five, I'm not going to put in another, do you need something else? Because they've already identified that they need something else that's not available in the first four sections. So now I'm ready to send this out. And of course I can email it, I can post a link somewhere, or better yet, I might embed it into my classroom blog or my school blog or my school tech help website where people can view it and make the selections that they need. So let's go ahead and copy that link. And I'll show you what it looks like to someone who's trying to complete this form to find their tech help. So they see this tech help form, a little tech help for my friends. They say, I need help with Google Forms. Hit next. They'll see this selection of videos. 
Do you need something else? Yes. Okay. Go back to next. What do you need help with? Well, now I need some help with something else besides these three options. So we'll hit something else. Hit next. And here we'll see the, I'm sorry, I don't have any other tutorials handy at the moment. I'll be updating throughout the week. In the meantime, feel free to email or book an appointment with me for one-on-one -on -one help. Let's take a look at that calendar. And it'll be prompted to sign in. So maybe Mason's going to sign in and now book that appointment with me for some tech help. And say, I need help with making podcasts. By the way, I have a video on making podcasts on my YouTube channel. Hit save, and now they're booked. So that's how you can use Google Forms to create a tech help website or tech help resource for your colleagues, your friends, and your students. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.